Okay, this time I'm playing Total Warhammer. Well, that's what I call it. Its actual title's the rather clunkier um, Total War Warhammer. They, they really missed a, missed a chance there with the branding. So, uh, custom battle. Having a dwarf uh, versus, I think it was Beastmen. Just, uh. <laughs> okay, that. Some of those weren't meant to be um, uh, normal quarries, so yeah, just to have a very, very shooty focused army facing up against a very melee focused army. I've I've loaded the enemy beast gores out with um, well, the, yeah, beast gores basically. Um, so they should be hitting incredibly hard at a good speed. Or respectable speed at least um, and I'm going to have almost no melee capability um, I'll have my my dwarf lord um, <laughs> he's a uh, thoroughly standard uh, got some abilities on him but like that can uh, hold off a whole army and looks like by sheer accident alone some of my quarrelers actually have armor and great axes so hopefully th these guys won't go splat but I'm I am expecting uh, the rest of my guys to go splat and I've got some um, artillery just to make sure the enemies come to me so let's see how this gets on Ooh, love that gore. I'm pretty sure some of those boulders just chopped those best of gore in half. Right there, see some more. Ooh, I'm very glad I got the uh, Blood for the Blood God DLC pack. Some might uh, say that's a bit bit of a cheek, um, charging for Blood and Gore. But I really don't mind, it wasn't that expensive. These guys in range yet? They're about to be, okay. So, my front rank of open fire. I suppose I should start picking targets soon. Uh, you're a bit to the wrong place there. So, let's reposition you so you've got better fields of fire. And these guys are fine, so. Let's see some best of all getting shredded by the power of fire, shall we? Well, there are casualties, but they seem to be weathering the storm rather well. Yeah, they're, they're moving too slow to be a problem. Those guys are... Swiss cheese, just the way I like it. These guys are getting close though. Too close to comfort. Okay, let's pause to get some tactics going. Um, so let's evaluate the situation right. You're going to get into combat. Um, see if I if I move you back. Then you can lend some supporting fire to those guys. Um, you've got to hold this front. Um, I kind of wish I had some more, some more guys here. Okay, uh, pull them. Oh, uh, he might have ability. Yes, magic ring. Yeah, let's get some. Let's get some fire. Well, I don't know if that actually did much, that, that was like, sort of uninspired. Now, do I bring my lord in over here 
to the combat that's already raging, or do I crash into the middle? Where, where's their beast lord? Where, the beast lord's supposed to be about there. Here we go. Okay, let's get some hot lord on lord action. And foe seeker. Uh, get some more charge bonus. And yeah, let, let, let's stand our ground, shall we? Yeah, I can see their beast lords doing some stuff as well. Okay. He's supposed to be charging, but he's more like just meandering unimpressively. Way to go, Dwarf Lord. Okay, that looks like the beast lord, and my lord is only just started to swing. That's... Yay! Way to go, dwarf power. Screw you. Right. You're not doing anything exciting, so let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Uh, you're not doing anything helpful, so... Start shooting those guys, and you... Start shooting those guys. Uh, my artillery... Where needs... Bombarding. They look like they're about to rally, so let's see if we can break those. Um, okay, you're not doing anything useful either, so let's focus fire on those. Let's shore up our right flank. Uh, yeah, you should be largely okay. Just gotta remember to um, swap their targets when those guys start fleeing. Uh, you're not really shooting anything useful, but they'll they'll rally soon. So, um, okay. I think I'm holding the line sufficiently here. to reassess. Uh, I've now got a hole in my squad, uh, in my line, so can I pull guys from anywhere else? No, they're about to get flank charged, so yeah, they're hurting. Still, they're about to flee, so if I just don't reposition those guys, but change what they're firing at. Um, see if I can get those to turn. Yeah, there, there we go. To, uh, <coughs> gotta do something about this flank, so... They need all the help they can get, but they're not going to get it, because... Uh, I need to pull my line back. Oh, that's what that, that one squad is targeting two of mine. Stopping them from shooting. Okay, well, let's just have to see what's going on here. Okay, looks like my uh, crossbowmen are actually holding their own. That's, uh, that, that's a fair few dead vesticle lying around. And are they starting to flee? Fantastic, okay. So. Let's see if. Okay, I'm going to pull those guys back there so they can put some more arrows in their asses while they flee. Uh, you can pretty much do the same there. You. spin around. Need to get them over in that direction. I, I'm really surprised these guys haven't broken. I mean, there's there's barely one line there. Um, still, let's get you guys.
guys in a slightly different position. Uh, let's, let's bring some more fire on the centre. Because my left is really going to need that help. Um, right, let's get some more melee defence here. feeling that uh, if this was a campaign battle, um, it'll take a long while to recover um, whoever wins. Those best of us, of course. Oh, even that headless one. <coughs> okay, let's just see what else is going on. Oh, they're getting chopped by two squads at once, so we need to reallocate some points here. Oops. Reallocate some points, reallocate some uh, some forces. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get you finish that off as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'll just run you. You've got, you've got a long run ahead of you. So, let's... Um, what? Okay, I'll get these two squads. Reinforce that line. Well, not not supposed to reinforce that line, but shoot at whoever doesn't die. Uh, you may as well go there. Uh, as for the rest of you, um, just a slight reform, I think. You're doing fine. I don't think you've taken any, any casualties. Um, So take your 80 crossbows and I do love the Beastmen, but I don't want them this close to me. <laughs> Where's that Beast Lord? I think that's him. Victory! Yes. Very happy with that. Might not have been the best looking... Oh, and I killed the enemy Lord, so if this were a proper campaign battle... Um, the army would be severely hamstrung by that. But there's one thing I, I do enjoy about the dwarves in campaign. Um, after the victory, you just stand back and shoot and like really, really uh, put some salt in the wound. So as the enemy army flees, they take even more casualties, meaning that it'll take them even longer to um, to recover. Bodes well in the long run. Right, let's take a look at some artillery shots, shall we? 
can't even see where they're coming from. Do not want to be the guy who has to clean this up later. <laughs> just think, uh, there's probably hundreds of Skaven. Just, uh, oh, Dwarf Lord having a bit of a celebrate. Yeah, I just think there's probably hundreds of Skaven just like hiding in the bushes or something. In some hole that you can't quite see. Just waiting for all of these. Waiting for all of these greybeards to, uh, to go home. So they can come in and, uh, rifle through these guys' pockets. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's take a look at the end stats. Okay. So, uh, I lost about half my force. They lost about uh, two-thirds. So... Not not a great victory. I mean, uh, I've got a couple of these squads here have just been decimated. Um, but I've not lost a full squad. Um, most of their squads have been decimated. Also not lost a full squad, but the Lord's dead, so that, that that's me. Very happy indeed.